In this video, we're going to be using Noble Otter Neon Sun and the Mighty Weck today on Straight Slash Shave It Sunday. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And before we get into the video today, I want to remind you that this video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and Twig right there. If you're interested in picking up something from Leaf Shave, use discount code IMCDB right there, and you can get 5% off your order. And remember, at Leaf, care for the places you care about. All right, let's get into it today. Today we're going to be using Noble Otter Neon Sun. I hope you can see that label. It is a terrific label. Noble Otter is known for their artwork because they always do such excellent artwork on their labels. It is fantastic and boy, I was really looking forward to this release and then I did the unboxing and well, if you haven't seen the unboxing, I'll pop it up there. You can check it out. I was very disappointed with the scent um, off the puck, but we're using it today to see if it grows on us. Hopefully it will. But the scent on this, I'll put the notes for you right here. It's a tangy lime, patchouli, bergamot, musk, and it's got a powdery nature to it. And all I get is a very faint citrus, like maybe you sprayed some sort of citrus cleaning product on a counter, wiped it off, and then you get a very faint sort of citrusy vibe. That's what I get. I'm not really crazy about it off the puck. Um, it's not unpleasant, but it's just, you know, it, it's for, for me, very pedestrian in terms of scent. I just don't care for the scent. Also on this one, the cost was $22 for four ounces, which on our cost right there is $5.50 an ounce. It's in the pricey range and Noble Otter is normally not that. It might be, be it might be because this is special edition. I'm not sure. Uh, it is a tallow based soap. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. Good quality soap. I haven't had any problems with Noble Otter soaps ever and I made the lather quite easily with it today. The consistency is not too soft. It's not goopy and they have an outstanding pour. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is really flat and nice. And so there we have the pros. Uh, great artwork, great pour. The quality of the soap is good as well. Uh, boy, but the scent, we don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll use it and then we'll see what happens. That's all you can do. You can't love everything. The razor for today is the Mighty Mighty Weck. And this is a shavette that, this one is a hair shaper, but it's almost full size. And I always remind people when I show a weck, um, they make versions of this that are quite small. So if you want to find a weck that's full size, get the Sexto Blade version. It's full size, close to a straight razor. This one is a hair shaper, but it's almost full size. A lot of them are quite tiny though. And as you can see with the weck, that blade just hangs off of there. And so it's always fun to use the weck. You have to have some finesse and good touch. And if you do, you'll be rewarded with a great shave. Okay, enough babbling. Let's get into it. Going to mist our face here. And this is just plain water, if you're curious. And we will get into it. The brush for today is also colorful. It's colorful like the uh, Neon Sun. I thought I had a loose fiber there. Yeah, I did. This is AP Shave Co. Uh, their handcrafted series, which I like a lot. And we shall hope for a good result today. The scent's still off the bowl. And there is the, the lather. Probably can't see it very well, but there it is. The scent's still off the, the lather. Just is pretty much the same, but... I'm hoping once I get it here on my face that uh, I'm going to, you know, take to it, but you just never know. You, you just have to use things. The only time I won't use something if the scent is just really bad and off-putting and unpleasant, and this is not that, but I've just found uh, with Noble Order, it is really a gamble for me on scents just because I tend, I have missed, I want to say I'm like two for eight. I've liked two, I've disliked like eight. And so that is not a good record, <laughs> you know, when you're buying soaps to miss on that many. So I'm pretty much on a must have a sample first with Noble Otter now. The problem is whenever you go to their website and the samples are sold out, or at least they are right now. And so I don't know if they're really easy to come by. It would be wonderful if they would make more of those. So you could try something, you know, because ultimately as customers, we want to like the product. We want to be able to say nice things about it but if you don't like something you don't like it and if you're a person who's making content of any kind it's your obligation to say you don't and this one the scent on it i just you know it's just pedestrian for me um, it's just not that great the scent doesn't live up to the wonderful label and the quality of the soap all right let's cut this back and it's disappointing but you know that that said um 
I have a lot more hits than misses, you know, with other brands. So this one is just one I need a sample first. So I hope I hope Noble Otter will consider getting a healthy level of samples in their store. That way people can try it. And because what you don't want, I'm assuming as a company, is to have a lot of people not liking your scent and being unhappy and having to flip them or give them away or what have you. But that's where we are. And so, okay, let's go. Let's get into it today with the Mighty Mighty Wick. And that is nice. There is no more satisfying feeling than the Wick with a Kismet Blade. And one of the things the Wick taught me was that it's all about the edge because this thing is so light but it cuts like a laser. So early on, I was under the uh, impression, excuse me, I was gonna stop talking there while the water was running. I was under the impression that you needed weight in order for a razor to cut effectively, a straight razor or shavette. And the WEC, I think, taught me that what you need is a super sharp blade and something to hold it securely. And if you have that, you're on your way. You know, I know some people prefer like a wedge gun and a razor or something more hefty. But trust me, when you use a WEC, and I know a lot of people who have uh, used a WEC for the first time last year like me, once you use one and it's cutting and you're like, wow, we, I don't need all that weight. You know, you might prefer it, but you don't need it. And that's okay, we all have different preferences. Just like today, some people will like this scent, um, but it's just not for me. It's not, again, it's not unpleasant. There's not enough going on for me to really appreciate it. And that's, uh, honestly, it's a bummer. But, as I said before, we get far more hits than misses. So, and I know I have some hits coming. So we're gonna be happy with those shaves. And I mentioned before, you know, I'm making some upgrades to the channel with the video and the, the lighting is, is tough when you're working with a new camera. I'm not familiar with. Uh, so bear with me on that. I will make tweaks and try to get it better. We're constantly trying to make improvements here. And we're constantly, we're consistently trying to spread the good word about traditional shaving. That's one of my biggest goals is to grow this hobby and to make it less uh, niche or niche, whichever you prefer. The more people, the better. And so, you know, let's, let's spread it. Let's grow it together. Let's make it something that people enjoy doing. I mean, think about you. If you're watching this today, chances are you've uh, stumbled into this hobby and all of a sudden you enjoy shaving and before you probably didn't like it at all. I mean, that's a wonderful transition from something doing something that's tedious you don't like to like, wow, we, I can't wait to shave. And for me, every single day, it's like I'm, I get up early because I'm just, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get my shave on. <laughs> I just love it. Anyway. That was an excellent first pass with the WEC as expected. Um, it's so light, but it cuts so effectively. It's nuts how good it is. And I will also say, I have some friends who, um, they were kind of like, eh, I don't know, that WEC doesn't look like it's all that great. And then they tried one and they're like, holy cow, that's a great shaver. <laughs> uh, Junior Gonzalez, the dude of shaving is one of those people. He was like, man, I love the WEC, you know, cause he didn't like light, light uh, razors. Because when I first tried to get him to try the Feather SS, he was like, I have one, I just don't like it. And then later on, some months later, he tried their WEC and just like a couple of weeks ago, even or last week, he was like, the WEC is friggin' good. And I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> one thing for sure, the quality of this soap is quite fine. It's easy to work with. There's no problem at all with the quality. So it's just the scent is underwhelming on every level for me. And I, I love citrus scents. This on paper was a home run, like for me on paper. But sometimes you get something and you're like, oh boy. And sometimes there's sense that when I read the descriptions, the notes, I'd be like, I'm not gonna like that and then I love it. This one on paper should have been a home run for me, but there's just not enough going on. And the fact that to my nose, it sort of manifests itself as a, like a cleaning product. It's not, it's not Arco cause it's not as strong as Arco, but you know, Arco sort of smells like lemon pledge. This one kind of smells like a, like a, a citrusy sort of dish soap or something like that. That's not unpleasant, it's pleasant, but also at the same time, 
you know, it's not, um, there's not enough going on to really get much of it, at least for my nose. Your nose may be different, and if you like this, go on liking it. You know, there's, I'm not, I don't seek to convince anybody to like things or not like things. I'm just telling you what I think. And by the way, while I'm uh, wiping the neck off here, I want to mention, we have three giveaways ongoing right now. We have the OSP soap set from Pastors. We have the A&E Cherry Pie, and we have the Captain's Choice Brush and Brush Roll. So I will link those videos below. Make sure you go and enter those giveaways, so, because when I get home, I will announce the winners of those three giveaways. So please make sure you get in those giveaways. All right, we're going a little bit long here, so let's get the second pass underway. First thing you want to do, though, is dry your hands. You want to make sure your hands are dry. When wielding a super sharp ninja class, Shaving instrument like the WEC. Like I said, the WEC is just all blade hanging out there, folks. Super thin, and you just really have to be careful and resist the temptation to use pressure. Can you hear that? Don't know how the audio is there, but it just cuts like so effectively and efficiently. I love it. And when you see me not looking at you, I'm looking in the mirror here, so. Oh man, that just feel great. The, the uh, Noble Otter is slick, I'm telling you right now. I was trying to get a hold of right there. Um, I was having a little trouble. It is slick, so big plus on that. I don't think anybody makes any quality complaints about Noble Otter. It's a good soap. It's, it's a really good soap, and never has it, have I wanted to like something so much as this soap, but it is just not a winner for me and you're gonna have that and again if you're somebody that who's in the business of creating any sort of um, content where you're talking about products it is your absolute obligation to call it like you see it all the time um, and, and, and be honest all the time and I do just that and it doesn't matter whether I'm buying a product or product is sent to me just like the other day in the Noble Otter unboxing if you didn't see that video, go check it out. Um, Pastor sent me a couple of soaps. And one of them, it was really banged up, and I just didn't care for the scent that much. And I said so. I mean, that's, that's what the viewers expect. So if you're a new YouTuber, you know, um, call it like you see it all the time. There's no need to be rude or, you know, unnecessarily harsh. But, oh man, I love that sound. And again, I don't know how the audio is. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is fantastic. Just phenomenal. The sub is good quality though, I gotta say that. Anyway, always make sure you're calling it like you see it. And uh, that's something we've done here over the years always. I don't shy away from it. I'm not afraid to, to, be, to express some level of uh, constructive criticism about a product. But also I'll give you both the pros and the cons. You know, because there's usually always something redeeming about almost every product. So keep that in mind. All right, excellent. I'll tell you what, no complaints about the WEC because <laughs> it is just fantastic. I love this razor. And I have to thank um, folks like Diamond Dave from uh, the UK for putting me on to the, the WEC and Frank Stromberg, I think was the first person I saw or paid attention to that was using it. And I said, you know what? I want to get one of those. Because <laughs> he made it look so easy, so. It's a phenomenal shaver. And in fact, of all the edges out there, the the WEC with the, what is it, Kismet blade, I want to say, it is the, the sharpest, it, it's the best combination of sharpness and smoothness that I've ever tried personally. I just love it. It is fantastic. A lot of people use, there's other hair shaper blades though. It's Persona, Diane, there's different blades you can get on Amazon that people really love as well. But I tell you what, this combo right here, it's really hard to beat. And uh, that was just an excellent shave. I really enjoyed it. All right, stand by. We will rinse and then come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our Razor Rock alum. This is a travel alum stick. That was a super smooth shape, no stinging with the alum. Uh, so we had no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. And that's how we try to do it here every single day. 
on the IMCDB channel. Following the album, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's uh, Cucumber Witch Hazel Magic because it's made by witches. I really had an excellent shave today with the Wick. The Wick. It exceeds all expectations. It is a fantastic razor. I absolutely love it. You have to have finesse with this razor, but if you do, you'll be rewarded with a terrific shave. I really loved it. The Neon Sun by Noble Otter was a miss. Let's get into the pros of this. So the pros, magnificent label that you see there. Fantastic. A great pour. If you're somebody who appreciates a great flat pour, um, that's, and good quality of soap, so the, the soap quality is good as well. That's kind of where it ends for me. Um, the cons, this one is 5 dollars ounce, which is more pricey than usual. I hope that's not their standard price now. Who knows? And the scent was just a miss. For me, pedestrian, underwhelming, I just didn't like it. Um, it's not unpleasant, like it's not off-putting, but it's just so light and it's just so reminiscent of a, a cleaning product. This is just not one that I like, but if you like it, I mean, that's awesome. And, we certainly wish Noble Otter the best with this release. I hope more people will like it than not, but you just never know. For me, Noble Otter is tough. Um, I've missed more than I have hits with scents, and I need to love a scent to keep it, and this one is just not there for me. But we're gonna try to use the splash um, again and close it out with the splash just to see if, I tried this the other day during the unboxing, and even the splash I didn't get much out of, honestly. So we'll try it. Because again, it's not unpleasant, so I don't mind the sip, but it's just, I don't know, there's just not much of it. It is pleasant, and as far as the scent goes, that's probably the best thing I can say about it. If I'm just looking for something nice to say is that you'll definitely smell clean, because it smells like a cleaner. <laughs> All right, well, that brings a merciful close to this neon <laughs> neon sun shape. Oh, uh, for, well, let's talk about a couple of things we do love, our Lancaster. Uh, brush soak, soaking mug with our Lancaster brush, which is beautiful, I think, and our Captain's Choice bowl. So now we shall officially close it out. Thank you all for joining me today. And don't forget, check out the giveaways below. Make sure you enter those because when I get home after a day or so, I will be making the announcement for the winners and get those out. Thank you, as always. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, get your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.